Good morning, it is Saturday today and I thought I would start another weekend vlog. I'm on a roll with this home vlogging now. Um, it's half past ten, although that clock still says half past nine <laughs> and has done since the clocks went back. That's bad, isn't it? Um, forward, clocks went forward, so I'm going to change that in a minute. Um, but it is half past ten and I have been up since half five this morning. It was a very early start for me. I just, I didn't set an alarm or anything, I just woke up, I was like wide awake for some reason, which is very unlike me, especially on a weekend. Um, don't get me wrong, I'm an early riser, like half six-ish at the moment, but yeah, anyway, I woke up early, so I got up about six and I went for a little run. Um, I say run, I'm doing couch to 5k and I'm on week two, so if you've done couch to 5k before, then you know that I'm using the term run very loosely because it's basically um, you brisk walk for five minutes and then you run for a minute and a half and then you brisk walk for two minutes and then um, and then you run and it sort of builds up as you go on. If you haven't done it before I really do recommend it because I'm really enjoying it and it's kind of getting me into running but without actually going full throttle. Um, so anyway, I've been doing that, I did that this morning, then I got back, had a shower, didn't wash my hair as you can probably tell, although I did put a bit of dry shampoo in it, so if I've got a few powdery flecks, that'll be why. Um, but yeah, had a had a shower, got changed and sort of thought, right, let's crack, oh, I did, did a little bit of work this morning as well, I had a little bit to do for my video that's going up tomorrow. So yeah, it's been quite a productive morning really. Um, Lou is working out in the front garden today, he's doing the drive. He's got a friend of his that does driveways anyway, or sort of does that as a living, <laughs> does driveways. Um, but he's got a, a professional friend that's working out there with him today. So hopefully things will look, start to look a lot different out the front soon. Um, and I am just gonna have a day of like pottering inside. I want to organize some of these cupboards We've got some floating shelves, I'll show you them in a minute. Um, but I want to just organise some cupboards, I want to um, put my, I don't know if you saw my last, last vlog, but I bought some spice jars. So I want to decant all my spices into them and label them and just have a very sort of organised home day. Um, and also I've got a bit of gardening to do as well, so I will go out there this afternoon probably. Well, it's a little bit chilly out there this morning. Um, what else do I need to do? I think I've got a couple of packages arriving today at some point, so I will open some of them. Um, just, yeah, just a few bits and bobs, really. Oh, also, I do want to make a soup as well. I've been making this amazing vegetable and lentil soup that I've just been loving. I've been having it for lunch. Not this week, so I didn't make one this week, but the past couple of weeks I've been having it for lunch most days, and it's so, so good. So I'm going to make a batch of that at some point this morning as well, so I'll show you quickly show you sort of how I do that and the recipe. Um, but yeah, just a little home day. Okay, if you saw my last home vlog, which will be going up tomorrow, um, then you may have seen that we finally got around to getting some floating shelves up and they were propped up in the last vlog, but now they are free and they are very level. We made sure, well, Lou got a level on them and made sure that they were right. Um, so I'm really happy with how they're looking. Don't get me wrong, they look a bit weird without having anything on them. But we put some of these jars on them the other day. I've got these jars, like kilner jars with kind of um, granola and pasta and stuff in them. And I think that I'm gonna put some of those up there, maybe on the top shelf. And then just, I've sort of been looking on the white company um, at some of their, okay, that's better. Sorry, it keeps getting blurry. I think it's because it's so white, it's got nothing to focus on. Um, but I was looking on the white company at some of their kind of shelf setups. <laughs> and I know that sounds really weird, but um, they just, I'll, I'll pop a couple of pictures in so you can see, but they just look so aesthetically pleasing. And so I want to kind of take some inspo from those pictures and just have a nice sort of arrangement of bits that are practical, but also look very nice. Also, this cupboard, I'm gonna organize this today because this is what this cupboard looks like. It's just an absolute mess. It's kind of got honey and treat sauce. Oh, see, there you go. Everything's just ready to fall out. Um, so this needs organising, I'm going to get everything out of here, organise that, and then as I mentioned I've got all these spices 
um, kind of these ones that I want to put into the spice jar. So I'm going to do that as well. Um, I will quickly show you my outfit today if it focuses. It's always so dark in this mirror. I did mention before, but I do think I'm going to move onto that back wall so it's a bit brighter. Um, okay, that's a bit better. Um, so I've just got on this white linen shirt from Everlane, a white body from Free People, jeans from Everlane, and I know I'm wearing jeans at home, and I, I never normally wear jeans in the house, but these are the comfiest jeans. They're just so comfy, such a nice shape and style. Love them. Um, and then Ugg slippers as well, because my feet are a little bit chilly today. It's a little bit, the temperature's definitely dropped and I am feeling it. Um, so yeah, that's my outfit. Made a little bit of an effort today. And I am gonna crack on with some organizing. Also, I've just lit this little Yankee candle and it smells lovely. It's Camellia Blossom. And it just smells so nice and summery and yeah, really lovely. Hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side our fears are done All the good times just begun Got everything out of the cupboard and I have hoovered inside them and now I'm going to try and put it back in in some sort of order We know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy but things are finally right with you and i the future is bright oh, you and I <laughs> um that looks so much better doesn't it i've put all my tins lined up i've put all the sauces these are the sauces on one side and then that kind of honey and peanut butter that I use every day, breakfast time, ice cream sauce and spare honey at the top and a few little jars up there as well. Um, and now I just need to sort out all of these spices and decant them. If you didn't see my last vlog, these are the little spice jars that I'm talking about. Um, so I ordered them from Amazon and they come with some chalk and little black stickers to put on them so you can write what spices in each one. Um, now I'm just thinking, can I just go straight in with them or should I rinse them out in warm water first? I feel like they need a wash, don't they? Oh, can I be bothered to wash them? Or should I just do it? What are we thinking? Oh, I'll wash them. I feel like it's probably the, the best. Side side and through and through. No limit to what we can Okay, I washed them all in warm soapy water. I did start drying them up, but it took ages to just dry one, so I'm gonna let them dry for a little bit and get on with something else for now. Actually, this pullout probably also needs organizing as well. This is kind of like, there's not a lot in this. We don't actually use this as much as we thought we were going to. Um, it's kind of a bit of a novelty thing. I think sometimes a cupboard is a lot better because this, like you put something in it and it falls over um, unless you sort of balance it correctly. So it's kind of, I don't know, we sort of don't really use it that much, but I do want to quickly sort it out because it does look a little bit of a mess in there. So I've had a little bit of a reshuffle and filled up a lot more of these compartments. I've put some cereal down here and ice cream cones because we are loving ice cream cones at the moment. Now the weather's nice. Um, so yeah, cereal's down there and a bit more cereal here as well. Rice and pasta, red lentils, which I've been loving in my soups. Although I have just filled up that jar over there with some red lentils. Um, and then up here, I've just got some sauce, uh, like sort of powder, sachets and gravies, stuffing, just a few miscellaneous bits really. So that's that done, push that in. Um, I have just started on these drawers in here, up here, I've just tidied it out, it had some bread in it, but I need to hoover around there as well. Um, just got eggs in here, 
And here we have got, again, this needs hoovering. I just had some pasta in here. That's where I got the pasta from. Yeah, when we first moved in, we kind of just put anything anywhere. You sort of don't really know how it's going to work. So you sort of think, oh yeah, we'll chuck that in that drawer. That'll go there. Um, and it kind of just hasn't really been working that well. Um, although these drawers inside the cupboard are brilliant. I love these. They're really good. Um, and just give you a lot more space in a cupboard than you'd normally have. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to quickly grab, got some potatoes in here. I've got a box in the utility room that I need to grab for my potatoes to go into. Let me go and grab that. I um, I got two of these boxes from, B no, it wasn't B&M, it was Home Bargains, I think. Two of them from Home Bargains about probably a couple of years ago now, even longer. Um, I love them. I think they're so good. I think they're probably about five pounds each. And they're just really nice kind of vintagey crate looking boxes and i've just been keeping potatoes and onions in there um and i've been loving sweet potatoes recently as well love them so i'll just empty these into there and then i just pop that back in the utility room just because it's sort of like it actually suits the style of the utility room as, as well because we've sort of made it a bit more um, like the units in there are like a really, really dark grey, blue, and the hardware is all gold, um, sort of brushed gold. So I think this works really well in there. And we're going to have like a, like a re reclaimed scaffold board shelf up on the wall as well. I think that's going to be done soon, hopefully. So I've just hoovered out the drawers and now I'm trying to work out what to put in them. There's really not much method over here. This bottom one is for candles and diffusers <laughs> oh actually i might get this one out this is beautiful it's from the white company it's pimlico and it's so so nice um and i've also got a diffuser that i want to get as well this one is also from the white company i think i think it's st simmons is it oh no it's also pimlico oh lovely this pimlico scent is so nice it's absolutely beautiful um so i might actually pop get that out and pop it up on the shelf in a minute um but yeah that really shouldn't be a candle drawer should it but it was kind of just i don't know <laughs> um anyway i'm gonna pop these baguettes in this top one lou always had oh gosh there goes the eggs <laughs> oh gosh luckily there's only one in there i hate the smell of raw egg when it's on surfaces it really smells um i am going to quickly clean that up two seconds it's all cleaned up now um anyway where was i oh okay so yeah these are loose he has them with like he has like sausage baguettes or chicken baguettes or bacon baguettes he we eat completely different um the rivetas are mine <laughs> i'm literally so so hungry my stomach keeps grumbling i had i had breakfast quite early when i got back from the run maybe about seven ish um, so that's probably why, and I think probably because my body's doing more exercise than it's used to, I'm getting so much more hungry. Um, but I am going to quickly like pop some of this stuff away, and then I will crack on and make the soup. I think, although I probably won't, probably won't be done in time for lunch. Anyway, I'll crack on with it. This just sums up how different mine and Louis' diets are. I've just fried up some olives cherry tomatoes and obviously got a couple of eggs there whisked well two and a half so i used half of the um cracked one <laughs> and then i've got some feta here as well that i'm going to add in a little bit of feta um i had it a couple of times this week already and it's so nice so i'm having that and then louis and his friend are having bacon baguettes <laughs> there's some baguettes in the oven um and yeah that's what they're having so big difference so this is my lunch. I know it doesn't really look very appetizing, but it does honestly taste so good. Um, so it's literally just scrambled eggs with feta, olives, tomato, and then a side salad of some rocket. And I'm gonna go and tuck into it because I'm hungry. Okay, so I am finally going to put some spices into these jars and label them up. Okay, we've got our first spice jar. I should probably label these as I go actually, shouldn't I? I'm gonna stick a sticker on it and see 
how it looks. So I should get Lou's mum to do this because she's got the neatest handwriting ever. Um, okay, so curry powder. Okay, the chalk definitely is not working. I have tried sharpening it. Uh, it just keeps snapping and that is the extent of how well it writes on these. It literally just wipes straight off. So I don't get how they thought that was going to work. Um, so unfortunately, that doesn't really work. I don't know if to get a um, label maker. I feel I've seen quite a few people have got like little label makers that you print off and put a sticker on. So I might get one of those instead. But I feel like I can't really put the spot. <coughs> oh, <laughs> I'm getting curry. I'm getting curry powder in my mouth. Um, I feel like I can't really decant them all yet because I won't know what any of them are. I'll lose track. So unfortunately, this is going to be ha going to have to be put on hold. But I do like the way they look when they're full of curry. Well, full of um, spices. So yeah, these were these chalks were an absolute no go. They've all snapped. So never mind. Oh, actually, I might pop this up on the shelf like I said I was going to. Oh, it smells so nice already. I love the packaging of these ones. They're just the, um, they're the slightly more like luxury range ones from the White Company. This one was, I've just seen on the um, wrapper, this one was £37, but I'm pretty sure it had 20% off when I got it. There you go. Smells so nice. So yeah, obviously I will eventually have more on my shelves than just the one diffuser, but that'll do for now. And it'll get rid of the curry smell. So I've literally just had a package delivered. Oh, <laughs> hopefully it's not fragile. <laughs> Um, and I thought I would sit and open it. I think I know what it is anyway, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna get into it and hope it's not something that could have broken. Oh, I'm rubbish at opening packages. Oh, that's better, it's a rich one. Okay, yes, it is, it is what I thought it was going to be. Um, so, it's a bag. Um, this, I was actually very, very kindly gifted. I was contacted by mybag.com um, and they do kind of like design a bag, well, kind of like mid-range designer, but at reduced prices. And they asked if I would like to choose a bag. Oh, it looks nice. Um, and I'd actually considered buying one of these before in the past, but I'd never really kind of taken the plunge. I'd always seen them. I think Sinead Crow's got a very similar one. I think it's a little bit smaller. Um, but I, yeah, I've seen a few different girls with them and love the style of them. And then when they, when they emailed me, I had a quick look and just loved the style of this bag. So this is the bag that I went for. It is a Marc Jacobs camera bag, I think it is. Um, it's such a perfect size love it love the color of it so it's kind of like a taupey sort of mushroomy beige color um it's got the two j's for jacobs <laughs> and then round the side it is black as well and then i'm pretty sure the handle is black as well or is it inside i feel like it's got a thick strap is it in there no it must be inside and um, so it kind of has got a double opening so one side have a look, what's this? Oh, okay, so this must be the strap. No, it's not, this is the dust bag. It's got a little, little dust bag. Okay, so this is the strap. So it's got a gorgeous, chunky strap, which is what I loved about it. I just love that kind of chunky style. And um, so if I just get this out. And I love the gold hardware as well, obviously. Um, so yeah, it's got the black strap to match the sides in black. I just think it's such a nice bag. If you did want to make it a bit more feminine, I guess you could just clip on like a thinner sort of gold chain if you wanted to, or chop and change. Um, so that's how it looks with the strap on. Um, it has got a little pocket at the back. Okay, let me take the paper out. I'll just quickly show you what it looks like inside. Okay, so this is the inside of the bag. It's kind of like a black sort of canvas fabric. And then it's got a card wallet 
on the side, which is really handy. It's got three slots. You can pop your cards in there. Um, but yes, yeah, black canvas on both sides is really handy having two different sides as well, because you could kind of have your makeup and sort of bits like that on one side, and then your phone or camera on the other side. Um, yeah, I just think it's a really lovely bag. I think they've given me a discount code. Let me just check, because she did email me saying that they had a sale going on, I think. Okay, so they've got 15% off full price items with the code Charlotte. I'll leave that in the description box below. And obviously I will leave this bag linked below as well. Um, but yeah, I love it. I think it's really, really cool. Really lovely. And actually my first ever designer bag when I was probably about 18 or 19 was a Marc Jacobs bag. It was. It was one of the quilted ones. It's like a dark green, big, chunky quilted one. I actually didn't really like it that much. <laughs> um, but I do really like this one. So yeah, I'm gonna go and pop that up on the shelf in my dressing room. I thought I'd just quickly show you how it looks on, like the height of it when it's on. Um, and I actually think it sits at a really good point. Although um, it has got these little bits so you can adjust it slightly. You could make it a little bit shorter or longer if you wanted to. Um, but I really like the way it sits. I think it's really good length um, and a really good size as well. Okay, it's soup time. So I have got four carrots, three onions, like quite small onions, and some celery. I'm not gonna use all of this. I think I'm gonna use three stalks of celery. Um, and I'm just gonna chop the onions, grate two of the carrots. I'll probably go for the big two, grate two, and chop the other two, and then chop up the celery. So, bear with me. Okay, so that's the two grated carrots, three bits of celery, and three onions. So I'll leave that to um, kind of fry off a little bit and add a clove of garlic as well. Okay, now they've softened a little bit, I'm going to add one tin of tomatoes, a tin and a half of water, or you can add more depending on how thick you want it to be, and a mug of red split lentils. And then I've added two stock cubes, and I've literally just popped out to the garden to pick some spinach, and I'm gonna chop that up and add it in. This looks like loads, but it will really shrink down. You and I, we got it. left it simmering away for, oh that's hot, um, for the past like hour and it is done I think, it's looking pretty good. I've actually just popped the spoon in the dishwasher but if I just quickly give it a stir you can see it is really thick so I might add a bit more water. You can also add chilli as well, I would add chilli but I had like really weird heartburn recently so I'm not going to add any chilli um, but I would personally prefer it with chilli, so if you, yeah, if I were you, I would add some chilli flakes, it's all like some chopped up chilies. I think that would be so good. Good morning, it is Sunday, it is quarter past ten, and oh, I've been up quite early this morning, I think I woke up at about half six, but we ended up laying in till about half eight. I always wake up early on a Sunday because my Sunday morning video goes up. Um, but yeah, we had a little bit of a lay-in. I ended up making Lou some breakfast in bed. And yeah, nice chilled Sunday morning. Um, and it is a lovely sunny morning, although it's a little bit chilly outside. Um, but we're going to try and get some gardening done this morning because I have still got some plants outside that we bought about a week ago now that are kind of looking a little worse for wear and they definitely need planting. Lou's outside the front at the moment just watering the garden. And what else do we need to do today? I don't really know, I think just a few home bits. I left you yesterday just after I'd made soup, which tasted really good, although I haven't actually had any yet, so I'm going to have some of that for lunch today. Um, but last night we just chilled. We watched um, a documentary called Slenderman, Slender Man, or Beware of the Slender Man. I definitely recommend it if you like sort of crime, um, mystery documentaries, stuff like that. It's called, yeah, it's called Beware of the Slenderman. 
and it's mental but it's it was very interesting um the night before we watched 13th which is a, another documentary on the racism in america it is shocking again i definitely recommend watching that purely for educational value like the amount you don't know that you're sort of just I mean ignorant too I suppose um, but we have been really trying to educate ourselves on things that um, yeah on racism it's been a bit of a wake-up call hopefully for everyone so yeah we watched that night four and I think next tonight we're going to watch when they see us or now they see us um, which is another Netflix one anyway I'm gonna head outside in the garden and try and make it look a little bit better just taking my jewellery off for the first time in ages because obviously I'm doing some gardening and realised I've got some serious tan lines. <laughs> hey. It's embarrassing, isn't it? Oh. <laughs> I didn't know what you meant then. <laughs> Me and Lou have got matching hoodies on. <laughs> It's not intentional, and in fact, he was dressed before me, so I just popped this on because I thought it'd be chilly out here. Although it's not, it's nice and warm. Um, anyway, these are the plants that I need to plant this morning. These petunias are going to go into my hanging basket that I bought the other day, and yeah, I don't know where the rest is going to go, but it definitely needs planting. Close your eyes. Get some rest I'm by your side Lay your head on my chest Trailing geraniums. I'm going to put, put a couple of these in as well because these are trailing. The world could fall down, it's gonna be okay. The sun could go out, we're gonna be okay. If all the blue skies ain't too great, we're okay, gonna so be okay. Hanging on here, I've got the petunias on one side, and then I put some trailing geraniums on the other side. Um, they don't look, they look a little bit spindly at the moment, but. Hopefully they should grow out and fill up this side as well. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go and hang it on the shed. Calm your soul. Hold my hand. Don't let go. <laughs> I've just realised the hanging basket is totally ruined by the fact there's a big fridge behind it. <laughs> yeah. um, we have this this fridge is gonna be going in the shed just for drinks and food at christmas really or kind of extra yeah. bits and bobs yeah basically just a bit <laughs> um but when that's out the way that basket will look really pretty there when's the cedar coming um when we that sort of got some time to do it how nice well, is that going to look that probably i'm no point doing the cedar we'll just clad it until the tiles are done oh okay I don't really mind what tiles we have. I like the ones on our last shed. Yeah, we'll get them there. They were they were good, weren't they? They look nice. Yeah. Did the serve yeah. their purpose? Fair size roof shed. Yeah, I know it's massive. Someone decided he needed the biggest shed in the world. Up. <laughs> I know it actually is. Is it neat in there? Relatively. <laughs> I'll show you inside there quickly. I say neat, but no. Well, this is inside the shed. I think I've actually shown you in here before, but. Over here, Lou was building like a little um, kind of worktop work top area. So he's going to put worktop in there. And then you've got some shelves up here of all our paint that we need to go through and get rid of. TV up there. Yeah, Lou's decided that he would like to have a TV. So this bit here is going to be decking. I've mentioned that so many times. Um, and I think we're going to be using scaffold boards. So it will kind of look like this. Uh, but if I stand over here, Lou has decided that he'd like a TV to go up on that back bit of the shed. 
um, and then have like a seating bit here so they can sit and watch TV. Football. Sit and watch football. Friendship's back, but it's all going to be evening games, isn't it? Yeah. And I want to have a social distance lager with my friends while I'm watching the football. <laughs> oh dear. I guess so. Right, which which one shall I plant next and where? That was easy. Now I need to. Uh, everyone really. Shall I shall I paint those pots? Well, you've got. I could paint them black, couldn't I? That thing falls over. Yep. You've got this. This needs sorting because it's all smashed up. Yeah, we got a reduced loop in in B and Q, but it's that it's sort of needs it needs a bit of work to it. That yep. needs to go in the ground. Yep. I understand. I know it hurts. It wasn't fair. I was getting a little bit hot, so I've just popped in and got changed, just put a black top and some shorts on because um, it's a lot hotter out here than I thought it was going to be. And Lou is currently just being the electrician that he is and putting some lights in, um, some little like spotlights, aren't they Lou? Yeah. So we've got one down there and then there's going to be one there and one here and sort of dotted all the way around. Um, and then they'll just give a little bit of light. We'll kind of like point them against the fence or something just to give a little bit of subtle light. I have just planted these little marigolds down here. Hang on, can you see them? Yes, yeah, so well I've just planted these along here and then up here as well. Not really the biggest fan of marigolds, but they were on offer in B&Q and we thought, we're trying to, we're kind of thinking like, so we're kind of, kind of thinking like rather than being fussy, just buy, oh. <laughs> Careful, no, Lou's trailing his wire over my new marigolds. <laughs> um, yeah, we're, we're kind of thinking that rather than being fussy, just get as many as we can and try and just fill the garden because it's so, we just need so many flowers and plants. So we're just sort of trying to, yeah. Nothing. We just had, yeah, absolutely nothing. So basically we've just been going to like a garden centre, we went to being here and we've just been kind of stocking up on as much as we can. Um, anyway, over here, as you can see, before I just went inside then, I am currently painting up these pots so that I can plant this little fuchsia in one of these pots. Um, I have been using, now I don't recommend this, but I've been using this old paint. This was from our last house, but it was a full tin. So we brought it with us thinking that we'd be able to use it, but it had gone really kind of like, sort of really thick. Yeah, it separated. There was like a water layer on top and then it was really thick underneath. I think it's just really old. It's a colour though, isn't it? Yeah, well it was white mist, so it's sort of like a really kind of grey white. So I've painted that one and then I've got some over there. I'm going to paint, we've got one more like this that I'm going to paint and then those two at the bottom, um, I'm going to do those in like a kind of the same sort of colour as our bifold doors. I know that it's probably, well, definitely not the best paint to be using when painting outside, but even if it sort of goes funny and chips off, I don't really mind. It's sort of going to have that ruggedy look anyway. So yeah, painted that and I'm actually quite pleased with how it looks. And now I'm gonna pop my lovely little, I, this is just the prettiest little plant. I know it's just a fuchsia and I've had fuchsias before, but they're normally a little bit darker than this. And this is just a really pretty pale pink. I love it. So yeah, I'm gonna pop that now and then pop it over there on the patio somewhere. Planted the fuchsia. I keep I keep wanting to say fuchsia tree because I feel like because the stalk's so thick it looks like a tree, but obviously it's not a tree. Well, maybe it is. Anyway, <laughs> I've just planted the fuchsia, and you can see that this where I've painted it is like cracking a little bit already. Um, so definitely not the right paint. But I don't actually mind the crackle effect. I feel like it kind of gives it a little bit of a vintage look. I just think that looks so pretty. I'm really pleased with it. I wish I'd got two of these. Do you know, this was only seven pounds from B&Q. It wasn't even on offer, it was just seven pounds. I just think it's so cheap. So we decided to plant this hydrangea in the other pot. It is a blue hydrangea. Um, it was in that pot there, but 
it kind of the soil had sunk so far down that just needed a freshen up so we thought it looked better in this part and then we're going to get like maybe a palmy sort of leaf not a palm tree but like a sort of leafy one no i can't think what they're called either but like a green leafy thing to go in that one and then maybe put it over there or no it's not a fern it's like a one of those green things that goes like that <laughs> Yes, I just did with one hand. <laughs> okay, these are my next three that I'm going to paint and this time I'm actually using proper outdoor paint. I've got this um, Copranil or Urban Slate. This is what we've got on the gate around the corner. I don't know if the gate's closed. Oh yeah, there you go. So that's the colour we've got on the gate. I mean, it looks a little bit dark, but basically it matches the bifold doors really well. Um, so I thought these pots would look really nice in that colour as like a nice contrast next to the white. So yeah, I've just given them a little wash because they're a little bit muddy and I'm hoping that they paint up okay, but yeah, trial and error. The world can fall down, it's gonna be okay. just given that a really quick coat and I really like the way it looks I think it's a really nice color I think it looks all right considering it's just a cheap plastic pot okay now time for the real deal painting these ones and I actually care about how, how these ones look I want these to look nice so I'm hoping that the paint works and doesn't flake okay. I feel like it's perfect match to the doors and it's going to look really nice on the patio and Lou's just said to um, come and have a look at what he's doing. You haven't seen this yet. No I haven't, Lou's building. It, oh hand. cool! Oh nice one mate, that looks really good. Oh, you are a clever old stick aren't you? So Lou's just built a little couple of scaffold shelves for all our pots and brooms and garden things to go on out here. Did you see that on Pinterest? Oh, yeah. it looks... I'm more, more in, in, impressed by the hooks for the... Oh, I didn't even see them. <laughs> oh, nice one. <laughs> you literally just done that. I literally took you about 10 minutes, didn't it? Well, half hour or so. Nice work. Good work. Well, I keep spending the last two weeks tripping over everything. Like yeah, there's been, fun. yeah. He's a clever old thing, isn't he? Um, should we go and have some lunch, Lou? Yeah, mate. Gonna go inside and have a little bit of lunch, even though it's probably way past lunchtime now. It's time, I, have no idea. I don't know either. I reckon it's probably about two or three. Uh, um, but I am Hank Marvin. So I'm having some of the soup that I made yesterday for lunch and it smells so good. It is super thick, like a lot thicker than I've made it before. Well, a little bit thicker than I've made it before. But I quite like it thick anyway. But obviously, as I said yesterday, if you do prefer it runnier, just add more water, of course. That was so good. I've literally just polished it off. It was so tasty. Um, I need to go back out and finish off what I was doing, but I really don't feel like it now. You know, after you eat, sometimes you just get that lull where you just want to lay down. I know it's only soup, but I'm just like <sighs> really tired now. Um, but I need to go off and finish. I need to go back outside and finish off what I was doing because I've still got two wet paint brushes and I might as well just finish that last part. But that's it, I'm gonna do that, tie some bits away, and then maybe sit in the garden and have a nice drink or an ice cream. By the way, I know it looks really sad on its own, but this diffuser that I put out yesterday smells amazing. I came out to the kitchen this morning and the whole room smell, and it's quite a big room, and this made it, I can just smell it straight away as soon as I walked in here. It is beautiful, I absolutely love it. I've just come in from the garden. We have literally been out there all day, 
it has been lovely but it did just start to rain about 10 minutes ago so we quickly put, a, put everything away and I came in although Lou's still out there just tidying up he's got to load his van back up um but yeah it's been so nice we've we've managed to get quite a bit done I'll show you tomorrow because like I said it's raining out there now and it's gone a bit grey and everything looks a bit drab um but yeah it's kind of we've we've got there the pots are looking good um my hands aren't looking so good my nails are covered and I've got paint splattered everywhere um but no I've really enjoyed it I always enjoy a day in the garden I kind of put it off and then it's so like therapeutic gardening um so I am going to do some dinner now we had I made a um chicken thai chicken curry last night i mean I've, I've mentioned this before but it's not really a thai chicken curry um but lou's auntie is filipino and it's her recipe and she calls it a thai green curry um but i made that last night and it is so good so i think we're gonna have that tonight just because it's easy and we're both tired and can't be bothered to cook anything else um so yeah i'm gonna have that i think i might even pour myself a gin and tonic and chill Close your eyes Get some rest I'm by your side Lay your head on my chest I know you've had A really bad day Good morning, it is Monday and you may have just seen me doing a little bit of yoga because I got up early this morning and did some yoga. I have just been loving doing a bit of yoga in the morning. I just feel it's like, I don't know, I just, it's, it's exercise, but you don't dread it like some exercise. Um, so I did that this morning and then I have just got up and ready. I'm kind of getting into a routine of actually making an effort to put a little bit of makeup on. Um, although I haven't got foundation on today, I've just got by Terry CC serum that I've started using recently and I am loving it. I've literally just got that on and a bit of concealer under my eyes, around my nose and a little bit on my spots. Um, but, sorry, that's Lou drilling outside as usual. Um, but yeah, I've made, it, I've, I've, I feel like it's made such a difference to my skin. It's just kind of like, it gives you that all over glowy look but without having foundation on. Um, anyway. I am just cracking on with some work this morning. I've got a bit of editing to do. I've got to reply to some emails and get some content sorted for this week. Um, so yeah, that is my Monday morning. I thought I'd just really quickly show you what I'm wearing today. So I've got on a stripy blue and white shirt from Everlane, white v-neck top from ASOS, and these jeans are super old. I think they're either from New Look or maybe Topshop. They're just really, really comfortable and they feel like I'm wearing leggings. So I thought they'd be perfect to wear around the house. And then slippers are also from ASOS. I will leave, well, I won't leave the jeans linked below because I'm pretty sure they won't be available, in light, uh, available anymore. But I will leave everything else linked below if it is available. Um, and also my ponytail is super frizzy because I've still... I haven't washed it since having it in plaits. <laughs> um, anyway, I'll quickly show outside and then I'll wrap up the video. Okay, so it doesn't look that much different to how it did yesterday. Lou has actually got all his tools out because he's just sort of rearranging some bits and sorting stuff out in the shed. Um, but these are the pots that I painted. So they've actually come up really well. Hang on, it's gone a bit dark. Um, but I'm really pleased with how they look and I think they look perfect either side of the bifold doors as well. And then over here, we've got the pretty little fuchsia tree and the hydrangea plant and these are some of the other bits that i planted yesterday as well um so yeah it's all starting to come together i've still got some more to plant actually i might do that this afternoon so i'm going to finish off the video here i really hope you enjoyed it um if you did please do give it a thumbs up and i will film another home vlog next week because i'm really enjoying it and hopefully you guys are too um so yeah thank you so much for watching and hopefully i will see you again in my next video goodbye